Okay, this is Wednesday. We are in week 12, thus it would be day 12 for actually for BC 155. <clears throat> so today we talked about promote your website. Okay, we did that. We talked about online and interaction, human interaction. We talked about that. We went through the, review, the interviews, okay, and we will have more interviews next week. <clears throat> we did some work on sites. We did a little bit of video work today in class. Uh, we talked about promotion. Haven't done that yet. And next week, social media and ads. We'll be talking about those next week. Today, we talked about promoting your site. The first thing, you could advertise your site. You can advertise on Google. We talked about paper and print, like putting an ad in a magazine, having flyers on your business cards, and we did a QR code example together in class. You can tell people on your social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever, you can point people at your website. We talked about search engine optimization. We're not going to go in depth. In this course, you should know what that is. Okay, And what we did, it was kind of fun, we, we talked about, we reviewed... We um, actually, what we did, if you want to look it up again, this was earlier in the year. Matt, I believe it's Matt Cuts, and he explains how Google search works. And so we listened to that again. You can find that on YouTube. And it talked about links. Asked lots of questions, looks at the title, URL, quality of the site, some page rank, Google has a formula, looks at outside links, and then they talk about how the ads match you. And we talked a little bit about that, the good part about that, seeing what you want to see, the bad part about that are some of the things that have happened in the world lately with people um, being able to spread. Uh, the word I used in class was propaganda. Okay. We talked about you can blog. In your blog, you can, you know, a blog is your opinion, but in your blog, you can mention your website and give directions to that. And then you can run some uh, marketing like a uh, weekly newsletter. We looked up MailChimp and uh, looked at that. We didn't set anything up, but we, we did that. And we talked about some examples like the skim. I get the skim every day. And, uh, it's a way to move you to your website where you have information and so forth, or whatever you have for people. Um, FYI, I didn't cover this exactly. A QR code, you've seen those funny looking codes. But what we did is we created a QR code. You can create them free. And then you use your phone and it took us right to a website. We had the QR code matched with a URL. Why is that handy? Well, it's much easier to get to a website on your phone clicking the code than it would be to type in some URL, especially if it's long or at all. The interview questions. I thought this was interesting. The students talked about cost. It wasn't very expensive. It's not very expensive to manage. Let me see. Let me undo. There we go accidentally hit the zoom. It's not real expensive to manage about a hundred dollars a year to manage the going yumble, the gaming site. Um, the college, they're talking about a thousand. I don't know if that was per month or per year, but anyway we have a wide spectrum. Some professionally done sites can be pretty expensive and you can make a pretty nice website for little expense. Okay. In some cases, like the college, it was already designed, so they were just adjusting it. Uh, Riley 
Dirksen for the gaming used WordPress to design his. And everybody agreed doing the web work is not difficult. Now it might take some time, a little bit of schooling, you might look some things up, but what doesn't nowadays? <clears throat> Why they did the way they did it? Okay, the college uses WordPress so they can handle more complex sites. And the, and the site at the college, you know, needs to scale and needs to be managed and adjust. We have different things every year that need to be updated. We have things going on at the college all the time that we need to publicize and so forth. So it's much more complex. And they use WordPress. Okay? Um, go on Yumbo. WordPress is popular. So I picked one that lots of people are using which means there would be lots of resources so forth for that. Riley said,